So hey guys, welcome to Road Activities Chennai. This is your boy Ronnie here. Hope you are all doing great. Yes, I promised you that I'll come back with the video of installing the intercom, how to install the intercom on your helmet. And yes, I was unable to do it as soon as possible because a few things came up. So yes, so today I got the time to you know uh, come and show you guys. So. Let's go straight into the video and I don't want to waste too much of time in speaking. Yes guys, so this is the kit that uh, you get and I'll show you one by one. So in this kit, uh, you can purchase in Amazon. I'll share you the link in the description. Again, this is for the V6 VNet uh, Bluetooth. That is the model of this headset. And yes, so I'll show you what all comes in this pack. So this is basically that comes. So let's open the pack. And fine. So this is what comes uh, with it. So there are two speakers, which are average quality speakers and this is the uh, pin for the uh, bluetooth so this is the velcro so be just be careful when you take this out make sure you don't damage anything else this is the velcro so this is the tape you remove this insert it in inside the helmet and you have to place this inside and stick it so that's how it works but it's easy to say but it is a challenge to fix it so these are the parts that you get you get extra velcros also you get a screw this is the clip this and this is for this this is a plastic one so normally what happens for this model uh, many of those who use v, uh, V6 v, VNet phone, most of them know this is one big problem, this clip, normally it breaks. So what they have done is they started to ship along this metal one. So yeah, it is quite good. You can, it is a metal one. So you can fix that over here and it will not break. So normally when you tighten it in between the helmet, this area normally breaks. So this is good, you know, this is a good uh, change that they have done. So I wish they could have even done, you know, given already a built-in uh, metal one, but I'm not sure why they have not done. So yes, so these are the parts that you get uh, with this. So I will share the link uh, in the description. So those who are interested only for V6, VNet uh, model blue intercom, you can go ahead and purchase the set. Now, let's go and see how to fix it. Yeah, guys, so this is the helmet and uh, you would be wondering what is this? So this is um, the camera holder uh, for the action camera. And uh, I normally use the 3M sticker and I place the holder over here. But here I, because it was white in color, I didn't want to destroy the beauty of this helmet. So I went ahead and purchased this strap on holders. You will get it again in Amazon. It will cost you thousand rupees. And yes, it is very good quality. Now, uh, quality wise it is good, but I don't know how will it sustain in a wind blast. So that I will share the feedback later on that. So this is what I've done uh, on this. You can see, so I've strapped it inside over here. I've strapped it over here. I've strapped it. So it is strong. You guys can notice it. It is strong. Yeah, it moves a bit, but yes, it is strong enough to hold the action camera. Now, so let's see where to start. Okay, so guys, before you start something like this, just make sure you check the uh, the inner part. So I'm not sure if there is enough of lighting. Make sure there is um, a headphone vent over here in this area. Okay, there should be an uh, 
for the speakers to be there there's already a space given by the company so what you need to do is just go ahead and check that place now the main part is removing the paddings now when you remove the paddings you need to be very careful in removing the paddings so just feel and understand the outlook of it and then you have to go ahead and start it so i'll go ahead and close the visor and let's start di di dismantling it okay so guys um, here there is the emergency pull tab you can see that so there is no emergency as of now but we have to be careful that we do not damage this okay and i am just checking the inner part if this is removable or not yes so this is removable so just clip and you need to take this out like this so see easily this part came out so you can see that this is the inner part and this is where the speakers should lie behind it so the speakers as i showed you the speakers will stay behind it so there are already vents placed here by ls2 the speakers will be behind it okay the speakers will be in this area okay and <laughs> let's go ahead take one velcro and stick it over there the glue is absolute awesome this glue which they give so make sure you stick it in the right place now i've stuck it in the right place now i need to be careful there is an emergency uh pull tab here also you can see that so again there are some clips which you need to remove it keep this again you can see there's an option so i'll keep this aside so you can see that this is where the speaker is going to sit this space so again i take the velcro i hope you can guys can see yep okay and uh, let me take this out yeah it is very gooey very very gooey make sure this this cut position you can see this cut position over here it is on the other side so place it exactly over here you need to pull the cables inside so i'm not going to open this part because there is space where i can pull through the wire so let us unpack this so guys so the velcro is stuck on both the sides and now what we're going to do is going to install the uh this speakers and the mic so now when you do it please make sure you have reversed your helmet so don't get confused to your left and right so the short cable will come to your to the helmet left hand side but because i've turned it it is now right hand side so when you put the helmet on the other side it should be on your left hand side so we need the uh, anti setup to be on the left hand side so first i will go ahead and install the speakers i just show you how it needs to be done and just underneath the lock let's go ahead and place this and the mic is set up that portion is done you can see the velcro is stuck okay and this is the pin so the pin should come over here right in this location so 
before we do that we will take the other mic put it through the back side of the helmet through the inner uh, inner space Please be careful when you put your hand inside, make sure you don't damage anything, you don't tear anything, take it, the other side, now we've got it, we have pulled the wire through the inner part, right, and we will stick it over here, yes, so we have stuck it. So the speakers are now installed. Now the only part that we need to do is yeah. Now the only part that we need to do is this pin. So for the pin, as I said previously, this is a little challenge because the shell, the helmet is quite strong and it's not that easy to do it. Once you put the pin, pull this, try to take the pin from your hand and here it comes. That's it. So you put this over here. You might feel it's a painful process. Yes, it is a painful process to get things right. Once you Put the lock properly, make sure the locks are kept in the proper way. Okay, so now as we have installed it, now let's go ahead and fix the clip. Now, the clip, as I said, will come in this location, this, this part. So for that, screwdriver, loosen it up. So, yeah, this cap is enough. Go ahead. Install it under the beading. There are chances when you do this, it might break. So, <laughs> just be careful when you install this. need to put it inside the beading it's a bit challenge sorry guys make sure you close the visor my visor has popped out oops don't do this mistake make sure you lock the visor and do it yeah now let's do it See guys, this is what happens when you don't take care of it. I did not check. See, the entire stuff came out. Now, what I have to do is lock it. Yes, it's locked. Yes, it's fixed. Okay, so make sure you close the visor and then do it. Don't keep the visor open. The mistake which I did. Oh. Find this gap. Yes, this is the gap. Place it right over there. Make sure the wires are free in that location. Yeah, so there is the gap. See, guys, so you have got the gap. Okay, now once this is done, come here tight it. I don't know if you can see it, but yes. Tight the portion. Don't tight it too much. It's a clip. It's already clipped in. So, yes. So, it is strong. It is clipped in. Now, this is the uh, device that I use. EGS, so again, this is V6 VNet phone, 
this is the same brand they've changed the names recently so yes you go ahead and install this and connect it that's it so now when I turn it on I should basically hear a sound inside the helmet let's see if we are getting that sound so yes guys so we have finally done it and let's go ahead and see how it if it works or not right after doing so much let's see so and yes this is the strap just adjust the mic once everything is adjusted go ahead and let's turn it on yes i hear the sound and it is working perfectly fine about the video and i'll share the a review about the strap mount how is it and uh, yeah and wait soon i'm going to start the motor vlogging back i the cameras everything is set up the mic previous camera i didn't have the uh, external mic facility and uh, yes now there is an external mic that is fixed and i'm planning to start the motor vlogging and there will be many exciting things coming soon so stay to this channel and next video is all going to be about q a session and it's all about <coughs> i'm sorry it's all about uh, if you're going to start a new channel what needs to be done and uh, you know so many questions are there can you use any copyright music uh, how many seconds you can use so so many questions i have prepared by myself which so many people have been asking me i'll definitely put it across as you always say guys thank you thanks for supporting my channel keep subscribing to my channel share it to your friends and and as i always say god bless you ride safe take care